All right, so automatic covers. There's, there's, I don't like them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan either. You know, we, we, um, we did a lot of auto covers at one point. You know, we, we really, we really pushed them, and uh, what we found, that was probably eight or nine years ago, and what we found was that they tend to break a lot. And uh, that and, you know, replacing that, you're going to have to replace that cover usually after about five to seven years, maybe nine years if you're lucky. And that's going to cost you know, anywhere from four to six thousand dollars. Closer to five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to budget almost a thousand dollars a year, a season, you know, towards your your auto cover. Right. Exactly. And, and that's a good way to think about it. This is the killer part of of auto cover. And, and don't get me wrong, um, if we sell an auto cover, we make money. And there's nothing wrong with making money. But before we sell it, we want the consumer to be educated. And auto cover companies do not like us for that. Yeah. They would prefer that we be quiet and just sell their covers and let the consumer figure it out. But we've had two people where we've taken their covers back off. That's right. They didn't ask for their money back. They weren't mad at us. Um, those people are still good references. Yeah. They just said, we don't want this cover anymore. Yeah. And that, that, there's a reason there's no cover on my pool. Right. Well, I mean, there, there's, a, there's a huge outlay of cash initially. It's not like it's a, an inexpensive option. I mean, we're talking, you know, fourteen to twenty thousand dollars usually. Wouldn't you agree? Well, yeah. I mean, would I, most of the ones I have sold have been in that twelve to fifteen range. Uh -huh. But they can get up to twenty depending on what type of patio you have, right? And the style of pool. And you can get them as low as eight thousand. Yeah. And um, you know, but it's going to be very visible. Yeah. It'll be pretty ugly looking, and tracks will be on top of your your right. patio, which is what everyone wants to avoid. Right. And people don't want that. You know, they you want know, it hidden. And, and we do. We still do automatic covers. We do. Absolutely. And there's there's time. There's a time and a place for automatic covers. Some people don't but, mind. Right. And we but we don't. You know, our approach isn't that we're going to go out and push it, because we don't feel like. You know, for me personally, in most cases, I don't feel like it's worth the investment mm -hmm. for people. But in some cases, it is. But we don't even push our pools. I mean, in all reality, when someone says, this is what I want, we say, here's the pros and cons of that particular model. Is that really what you want now? And they'll be like, oh, maybe I don't. Same with the auto cover. I get so many requests for auto covers, and then when, when I sit there and I say, um, this is the pros and the cons. And the amazing thing about auto cover is, the phone rings, and it's like, um, can you tell me how to cool my pool down because it's getting too hot. I mean, the temperature in my pool is 95 degrees and it's just yeah. not swimmable. Yeah, and that's the a legitimate is, point. Leave your cover open. <laughs> well, yeah. I didn't buy the cover to leave it open. I yeah. bought the cover to keep the dirt out. Yeah. Well, if you want your pool to cool down, leave it open. Now, another problem that we have seen is we can't keep our, we are having a problem with our, our chlorine levels. The chlorine mm -hmm. levels are through the roof. With pools with water covers. Yeah, we have our salt generator turned down to 10%, our pump on low, and we still have this huge chlorine reading. Well, chlorine has to dissipate, and what burns chlorine off? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sunlight. The sunlight. That's right. Well, the sunlight can't get to the pool, and the chlorine is trapped in there. Those gases are trapped between there. And guess what chlorine does? Yeah, it eats it, stuff up, breaks it, it down. Yeah, it breaks stuff down, it tears yep. stuff up. So there's your cover, you know, catching the chlorine and holding it in there. And so that becomes a problem. Now there's a lot of people, I've had people say, well, we owned a pool before and we had an auto cover and we had no problems with it. And I say, how long did you own that pool? Well, we had it for three years. They hadn't had a chance. Yeah. But we do warn customers, if they buy a, customer, a cover from us, if you're having a party on Saturday and we have encountered this, that's why we came up with this, is when we encounter it, we talk about it. If you're having a party on Saturday, call us on Tuesday, open the cover Tuesday. If the cover doesn't open, you can call us Tuesday and we'll have it fixed before Saturday. But Don't wait till Friday night. call us on Saturday or you call us Friday night yeah. and say, I'm having a party today or I'm having a party tomorrow, I need this fixed now, it's not going to happen. So just, you got to open it on Tuesday if you're entertaining on Saturday. Yeah. If you want to guarantee that you're definitely not, are not going to have any problems. Yeah. Don't open and close and say, oh, that works fine, because it might not work fine come Saturday. Yeah. In, in, in other aspect of this is, you know, from a design standpoint, if you don't want to see those tracks, you, you have to have a rectangular pool. 
for the most part. There's ways around it, but you know the, the, the best way to do an automatic cover is to have a rectangular pool where those tracks can mount underneath the pool coping so that the track the cover slides on those tracks. And that hides everything. So, you know, if you want to go with a freeform design, you have two options with an automatic cover. You're either going to see the tracks on top of the concrete, which no one likes, or on top of the patio, or you have to create this multi-level deck situation where the cover covers that entire lower level deck and then you have a step close to the pool and it opens up this whole other can of worms. So, you know, auto covers are going to limit you to some uh, degree when it comes to the design of the pool you choose and how you lay your patio out. So that's another another little stumbling block there as well. And common sense to tell you, Jay, that when the cover is dragging across concrete, yeah. naturally it's wearing the cover out. Yeah, that's, that's true. One other point, when you combine uh, an automatic cover with a saltwater chlorinator, okay, there's a lot of metal components with an automatic cover. You know, the track systems are metal, the tubes, the pulleys, everything, you know, with the exception of the cover itself, is basically metal. So salt, the salt water is going to corrode that metal, those metal component, components prematurely. And I'm aware that, that a lot of cover manufacturers will not warranty their covers on salt water pools. That's true, that's yeah. true. So, you know, if you get if you're thinking, I know uh, when I'm sitting down with someone, if they know they want an automatic cover, I will tell them, you know, very clearly what the, you know, consequences of that are going to be, and I would try to counsel them to get away from the saltwater system and go with some other type of sanitation. Although the covers that we install are not, their warranties are still good, even with the salt generator. It's the ones that we sell. Right, but there are ones that. But that there don't. are some that that will avoid their warranty. So you want to be careful because not everyone watching this video is buying a pool from us. There's people right. in New York that are watching this video and um, they want to make sure before they they take and put that auto cover on their pool that they'll still have a warranty. Right. That's a good question to ask. Yep, yep. 